infinity, then u, keep in mind that u is a function of r, small r, and r was our wave function. So, when rho goes to infinity, rho is equal to kr. So, rho goes to infinity when r goes to infinity. When r goes to infinity, then our wave function r should go to our wave function r should go to zero and here this is this is fitting the solution that when rho goes to infinity our wave function is going to zero but this one is going to non-zero so i will take the constant b equal to zero because this is a trivial solution and we will have the solution of our equation is u of rho is equal to e a e raised to the power minus rho so this is our solution when rho goes to infinity and the next solution is that what will happen to the differential equation when rho goes to minus infinity when it will go means when rho will be decreasing and if i look here to this equation when rho will be decreasing then this term will grow but this term will grow much faster than this one and this one so earlier Earlier, when rho was going to plus infinity, this was decreasing, this was decreasing, this was decreasing much faster. So, we were having the dominant term is this one. Now, when rho goes to minus infinity, minus infinity means from zero to small values. And when it goes to the small values, then this term will grow very huge and we will have the solution uh, the differential equation equal to d square u over d rho square equal to m into l plus 1 over rho square u this will be the dominant term in the equation and the solution of this equation is u of uh, rho is equal to c to the power rho l plus 1 a constant rho l plus 1 and plus d e to the power minus d e to the power sorry not e but rho rho minus l minus l and l plus 1. Now, if I look at this equation, then I see here that when rho is decreasing, my wave function should go to 0. Means our wave function is a Gaussian distribution like this, means centered at the origin. So, as the rho is going to plus infinity and minus infinity, our wave function should decrease are the probability of finding our particle or the state of the system this will decrease to zero here if i put minus infinity then this term is growing so i will say that this term i am not considering and i will say that the constant d should be zero in order for the solution to be a valid solution so we have u of rho equal to c rho to the power l plus 1 is the solution. So we got two solutions. Now in step 3, we will have to patch up these solutions. So u of rho is equal to a constant and then a and e to the power 
minus rho then c is we know that when we are having two solutions then the combined solution or the page of solution we will have to write is multiplication so rho this is uh, a e to the power minus rho and rho to the power l plus 1 and here is a constant c now the multiplication of a constant this is a constant and this is a constant which we will have to determine now this constant may or may not be a function of rho but for to be on a safe side we will have to take it as a function of rho so let me take this as nu of rho which we will have to determine so our page of solution is e to the power minus rho and rho to the power l plus 1 we are nu of rho so this is our solution the asymptotic solution that we got and if i put this solution into my differential equation which is this one then i will get put this one e minus rho rho l plus 1 v rho and take the double differential here and do a few step simplification then we will get that rho d square u over d rho square plus 2 and to l plus 1 minus rho d nu over d rho plus rho naught plus rho naught minus 2 l plus 1 and multiplied with rho here multiplied with not with rho but with nu here and equal to zero so this is this is our differential equation after putting this when i will put this for u then these are three functions of rho so i will have to take the first function and these two functions uh, is a second function i will apply product rule and then on individually these two i will apply product rule and after a few step simplification i will come back to this equation and now i will have to solve this differential equation and even again it is very hard to solve this differential equation so we will have to go to the power series solution the power series solution of this equation and here at the level of uh, Griffiths we will not solve this equation with a power series solution means we will not do the individual steps but we will rather write the direct result but for you for those who are interested how this differential e equation is solved through the power series i have provided the link uh, to the classical electrodynamics lecture in which we have solved such a differential equation with a power series and we have reached the recursion relation so i will write the recursion relation directly here but one may consult the uh, classical electrodynamics lecture that c j plus one j plus one in the coefficient we are having this two into j plus l plus one minus rho naught by j plus one and j plus 2l plus 2 
and here we are having C G. Now this we have this recursion relation we have achieved by the power series solution considering no of rho is summation on J which is running from 0 to infinity. This is a normal way of power series solution Cj and rho to the power j. So by setting nu of rho equal to Cj rho to the power j, I will take the I will put it here and this one is actually not u but this one is nu. So I will take double differential of this with respect to rho and then single differential with respect to rho and uh, then directly putting the new value here and then doing all the mathematics which we have done in the classical electrodynamic video. So here we are having this I call is the recursion relation. So the recursion relation it is called the recursion relation due to the reason that if I put g equal to 0 then I will have this one as c0. So the very first term, the first coefficient that I will get because in a power series solution we will have to determine these coefficients. So the very first if I put g equal to 0 then I will have the coefficient c0 here and here I will have C1. Then if I put C1 here, I will get C2 here, C2 here, then C3 here. So if I know the value of C0, then I can determine all the coefficients of C. And this C0 I actually call the normalization constant. This is the normalization constant. Once we get the value of C0, then we will find the solution to our differential equation. And here this C0 is actually, we will place here. So, now the, if I look at this solution, then by means this series, the power series solution, this will grow. This will go on like C1, C0, rho naught. So rho naught will give you 0 here, will give you 1. So it will be C0 plus C1, rho, C2, rho square, C3, rho cube and so on. It will grow and we will have to stop our equation, we will have to stop our solution at some point and that point we call the maximum means this will go, this will go from g 0 to infinity. More details are in the classical electrodynamics video than how this works but for this lecture just understand that this will go to infinity and we will have to cut it somewhere to cut this value somewhere in order to have a definite solution for our differential equation so let's say the value that where it cuts is c c and that value i call is the j maximum value so after that I will ignore the values and only go to the maximum value here so that our equation doesn't blow up and when I do this maximum value in approximation on this one then this will imply that Cj will be equal means for this Cj maximum it will be equal to 2 to the power j by j factorial and c0 and if I put this in my equation here the Cj value here then 
nu of rho will be equal to C naught and J running from 0 to infinity 2J over J factorial and rho to the power J. But this expression, this expression is actually the expansion of e to the power 2 rho. If I expand e to the power 2 rho, then I will get its n term like this or j term like this. As I expand e to the power x is 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial and so on. So I will have this is c naught e to the power 2 rho. Now put the value of nu rho here. So my equation will become u of rho is e to the power minus rho and then rho to the power l plus 1 and for nu of rho I will have to put c naught e to the power 2 rho and this is equal to c naught rho l plus 1 and here e to the power minus rho e to the power 2 rho so this comes out to be e to the power rho again we are having a problem with rho here as rho will grow our solution will blow up so we will have to that rho goes to infinity and u of rho blows up. So we are not on the solution now. So what I can do that I will select that if this g will get its maximum value if it will be the maximum value, then after the maximum value, this recursion relation should become zero. So in order to make this Cj maximum equal to zero, Cj maximum plus one is equal to zero, implies when this will be equal to zero when we will have this numerator equal to zero then our recursion relation for the maximum j value will come out to be zero and this implies that 2 and j this will be now the maximum value of j plus l plus 1 minus rho naught should be equal to zero or I call this value which is j max plus l plus one because it will be just a number. j is a number, l is a number which we know and one so we call this is n and this n is j max simum value plus l plus 1 and we call this is the principal principal quantum principal quantum number